Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, this series has been fun so far, even though we're only on episode number two. <laughs> but I, I really am <laughs> excited about about this after the first one and just our, the way that I think it'll it'll provide some resources for people who are interested in looking into low carbohydrate nutrition and, and what all it works for. Because I think, you know, for me specifically, sometimes I get a little too probably focused on myself and like kind of, well, what is the applications of like a low carbohydrate approach for me personally and what I'm trying to do. Uh, but then, you know, when you kind of take the time to look around and see it more holistically, you see a lot of different reasons people are using it and a lot of uh, kind of just variance within that. And it's just a, a pretty wide open field at the moment. Yeah, yeah no. absolutely. Uh, so I was going to say, yeah, it's, it, um, it's actually a really exciting field and, uh, obviously I'm excited about it, but, uh, it's, it's a really exciting field because a lot of researchers in the neuroscience space and the psychiatry space are, um, increasingly interested in this and they're interested in particular in the science of it. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of people are focused on diet and they kind of get into these wars and battles about healthy diet and unhealthy diet. And, you know, as long as you avoid unprocessed foods, then, then it, you know, that'll confer health. And, you know, for me, that's not actually what this is about at all. Um, you know, I'm certainly very interested in health and I'm interested in, um, you know, understanding which foods can confer health and which foods can maybe not be so good for us, like unprocessed foods. But, um, but we actually have a tremendous amount of science. And as a psychiatrist, the basis of it really all stems from a really obvious common sense observation, which is that the ketogenic diet is now that we're in 1921 uh, or 2021, uh, the ketogenic diet was developed in 1921 um, for the treatment of epilepsy. And it's been used for a hundred years now. Um, it, uh, so the ketogenic diet can stop seizures when all else fails. So even when people have tried numerous medications, when they've tried surgery, when they've tried other things and their brain is still seizing, the ketogenic diet can stop their seizures. And we have a tremendous amount of evidence for this, including a Cochrane review, multiple studies. So anybody, you know, who, uh, understands and respects medical science and medical research needs to understand that this is an evidence-based treatment for epilepsy. And as it turns out, we use epilepsy treatments in psychiatry on a daily basis. We use anticonvulsant treatments all the time because things that stop seizures can also help with a lot of psychiatric symptoms. So some of them are FDA approved and some of them are off-label use, but we use these things all the time. And, you know, for any listeners that are skeptical of, you know, a diet to treat something like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, um, I fully understand and appreciate a lot of people are skeptical of that when they first hear it. And so the first thing that I usually try to point to people to is this is an evidence-based treatment in neurology, and we use these all the time in psychiatry. And so this is no different than that. Yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate that because I think people, I think the only way we're going to get um, like kind of the, the mainstream science, kind of get healthcare on board is we're going to have to have those clinical trials. We're going to have to have that more research and more evidence before we're able, before it becomes standard practice. I was so curious, Dr. Dr. Palmer, when I actually um, transitioned to a low carb, high fat diet, I initially just like lost my health. All of a sudden I was having incredible muscle pain. I couldn't run. Um, and I'd struggled with anxiety and depression since I was much younger. I'm uh, 37. I had a severe eating disorder when I was 12 and for you know over two decades had severe, severe anxiety. My mom is bipolar. And I was just told like, this is just kind of the card you're dealt. Like we can, we can help you manage the symptoms, but it's never going to get that much better. And when I, for a short period of time, you know, I went very, very, I'm a zero carb, very high fat, high protein. And within three weeks, my wife, who's been with me now for 12 years, came up to me and said, this is the best your anxiety has been since I've known you. Like, and so, I mean, I think the greatest testimony you can give is your own. And, you know, in the book, we've got pretty much everybody in there says, you know, my anxiety was better. My, you know, I'm able to manage life better.